What's up, folks? Welcome to another episode of Watching Paint Dry here on Another Letdown Media. My name is Zach from Another Letdown and the This Is Difficult video game podcast. I'll be one of your hosts this evening. Joining me on the line for the first time in quite a while, we've got Adam back. Adam, how's it going, man? Oh, hello. Um, I'm doing good. Doing good, man. How are you? I'm hanging in there. It's been a long day. I've been kind of trapped in my own head today, which is never a good place to be. Um, oh, but yeah. it's time to paint minis because we've got a huge backlog of minis to paint and this is our time to do it. And yeah. uh, as with all the shows that we host on the Another Letdown Media channel, we believe in civil rights for absolutely everyone and being as inclusive as possible. So any comments or activity actively working against that goal are not welcome and will not be tolerated. So what do you have on the painting docket today, my friend? Um, well, so... I had a ton of uh, ninjas primed, and I was like, you know, this would be easier if I sprayed them all like a dark gray, so that I didn't have to, you know, waste a bunch of gray paint and time painting them, you know. Yeah. Um, and that didn't go well. So, oh, no. like, I don't know. You can see here, but it's very gritty. I accidentally used graffiti paint. Wait, that, that's um, a thing? Yeah, yeah. It uh, it appears that the craft store sells graffiti paint, <laughs> and um, yeah, I don't know. You can Seems see like here also promoting public vandalism. Yeah. Well, I like uh, it's legitimate art if you own the wall. No, I know. <laughs> uh, I, you can, I don't know if you can see here. Also, there, it like um, it it uh, kind of I don't know, turned into like these strings. Um, and so, like, a lot of them have these, like, strings or blobby bits hanging from it. Ew, weird. Um, yeah, it's really bad. Um, so, those get to be, uh... Hit the brake fluid? <laughs> yeah, those, those get to, yeah, go in the... I was gonna do simple green. Does yeah, simple green works for... Out? It works really well for primer. Um, I find the okay. brake fluid works better for, like, finish minis. Okay, yeah, so sim simple green should be fine, I, I think. Maybe. Oh, I agree. Um, but, so I have um, Gamora and Nebula. Um, I have like a bunch of things primed already anyway, so. Yeah, I, I, basically as soon as I get, especially my Marvel Crisis Protocol minis, I just prime them immediately. I haven't been priming them immediately, but I have been, uh, like I'll do them in batches, but I have a lot sure. of them that I have, just haven't gotten to. Yeah. And I am working, I'm finishing up work on these crazed inmates that I started last week. And then I've got the first of the named villains. We're there. Finally made it. We got Victor Zaz. Oh, nice. Yeah. You say it differently than I do. A lot of people say Zaz. I say Zaz, yeah. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's not okay. Everything has to conform to the way that I think it's about the world. So. Well, I mean, it is birth month, so I will uh, I will conform to your, your way of thinking. <laughs> For the duration of birth month, and then once once birth month is over, I will go back to saying Zaz. Yes, I love that. Happy um, birth month, by the way, Adam. Yeah, here. doing over there? Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> okay. Now the question is: Should we go to Gamora or Nebula first? Um. So I know when. So I've got that set coming in. I just ordered it this morning. Yeah. Um, I will be painting Gamora first. Okay. Okay, well, let's, let's do my then. There you go. All right. This will be, uh, I am almost done. Well, no, I'm not remotely close to being done with the Guardians of the Galaxy, actually. <laughs> but I'm, I'm almost done assembling that. Right, um, right. I still need Drax and Ronan. That um, I do have Thanos, um, which is freaking rad. Okay, so come with me on this journey. Yeah. I've also got Thanos coming in. Yeah. Let's, and I think Broody has it also. One of these you weeks, we should all paint Thanos. Yeah, uh, sure. Do you want to see him? Yeah, absolutely. I want to grab him. Oh, 
Um, I also, uh, because I like it's been a while since I've been here, so yeah, I thought I'd show you Modoc also. Oh, um, dude, how he turned out. Oh my god, he came out so cool. I love the yeah, gloss I, glaze on him. Yeah, oh yeah, that looks that that turned out really, really nicely. I like that I used the um, it was like the Modox 11 paint job. I really like the gray skin mm -hmm. and like the desaturate because it makes the gold pop so much. It really does. You know, um, and then I also really like, so this is a little uh, Daily Bugle that I printed out down here. And then I um, soaked it in um, lacquer um, and then shaped it and then glued it on there. Nice. Um, so that it holds that shape. It looks like it's being blown away. And then I got like a little Starbucks cup there. <laughs> I love that. I mean, so obviously I'm going to have to make mine a Dunkin' cup, but. Yeah. But yeah, so that's, there's Modoc. Um, looking good. And then, uh, yeah, here's the man himself. Oh, there um, he is. Yeah, which I actually magnetized the glove and the head because he comes with two different ones. Yeah. I've been playing um, around with, with magnetizing some of the CP minis, and it, they work really well for it. It's very easy to drill yeah. into them. It's good quality yeah. plastic, so. So that's. And then he comes with this massive throne that. Oh my god. He just like stands in there. Oh, and, dope! And, yeah. I love that so yeah, much. It's, it's real cool. It's real cool. I'm so glad I ordered that mini. Yeah, I'm very excited to paint him. Um, he's a. I'm, I feel like I'm working my way up to that though. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's I'm I'm working through the Gotham City Chronicles minis, and I'm like, okay, this is all training for the Crisis Protocol minis, because I, <laughs> as much as I love Batman, uh, I don't think the Batman minis are going to hit the table anywhere near as frequently as the CP minis. No, well, and also like the, I don't know, but, yeah, I want to make sure that I do a better job on Crisis Protocol because they yeah. cost literally 10 times as much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Crisis Protocol was so expensive. Right. Yeah, you're talking about about $15 a mini for these. Uh, oh, it wasn't that? Or, oh, for, for, yeah, for CP? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. For, for Gotham City Chronicles, it was like something like 68 like, cents. Yeah, it's I, th I had it at $2, but I, yeah, I could be wrong. Oh, it might have been Turtles that was 68 cents. Turtles was, was like, super cheap, yeah. Yeah, it's ridiculous. The, the but like is. i'm also starting to notice the 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 quality um of this the gotham city chronicles minis is really low oh really yeah like there's a lot of defects like you you can get three of the same mini and they are totally different to paint oh interesting yeah well i mean i kind of like that yeah no i'm not complaining like it's, because because I like I want them to all look different. Right. Um, let's see what we're doing here. Um, okay. I spent so much time like thinking about this before actually even thinking of a brush. Yeah. As with the, um, so I think last time you were on, I was doing the brutality stuff, and oh, yeah. that was really easy because I had really solid reference art. And they're huge too. And they're huge. Um, these ones, I have kind of bad reference art. Yeah, you kind of just have to like do them as best as you can. Right. Like these guys, uh, what I've done is I've done two different shades of gray for an undercoat. Uh, one on their pants and one on their straight jackets. Yeah. And then I'll hit them with, uh, I hit, I'm going to hit the top half with null and oil and the bottom half with, um, like a light blue ink wash, mm. I think. Okay. I think that's how I want to do it. I got to double check, but. I like that. I like your selection of like a. Boy, I don't have a paint that color. Think about how to make that. There's like a, a fuchsia, almost. Mm hmm. Um, okay, okay. Ooh, 
been so long since I painted anything. <laughs> It was like I was going to use the ninjas to get back into, into that. Yeah, I, when you mentioned doing the ninjas, I was like, oh, that makes perfect sense. It's a great way to get back into it. Yeah. The world, the universe had other plans for Adam this Got night. Down, I, guess. Yeah. I was just reading, um, like, right, I mean, immediately before this, I was reading um, Universe One, Tur Turtles Universe One, mm -hmm. which... Um, I'm very confused because they kind of like the 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 hard covers go from one that's just straight up uh, plot like main main story turtles stuff into an, one that's got like two issues of main of main plot and the rest is universe one and Bebop and Rocksteady destroy everything. Okay. This is these weird like tangential side plot things that I don't know really how they fall into the story yet. That is that is really strange. Yeah, Turtles writing is so odd. It's good. It's consistently good. But it's just so all over the place. Yeah, I, it's a weird mythos, you know? Like, it's, it's really weird. I love Turtles. Um, mm -hmm. Like, I adore everything about them. Yeah, but it's like it's a very strange property. Yeah, that like it goes so um, cosmic. Yeah, the Reddit stuff, especially. Yeah, I find that that's so strange. You mm -hmm. know. Because it has no, it has no like business going cosmic it's ninja stuff right it's ninjas yeah but like you know i think about my favorite series my favorite animated series is the the uh, 2012 yep yeah i love the 2012 series that's the one on nickelodeon right yes yeah, yeah. it's fantastic really really good um and um it is it's weird it does like it, it, it's like okay yeah we're doing everything normal it's like a normal Ninja Turtles but we fight some mutants we fight the Shredder here we go and then like suddenly it's like we're gonna spend an entire season in space yeah and then there's also some time travel don't ask questions you're just doing yep it. it's fine I still yeah. think the thing that puts it into perspective is that a COW boys of Moo Mesa can casually yeah, become canon mean. overnight yeah yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I could do without the uh, Ross and Racheling of Casey and April. Yeah, I'm just like that's just why are we doing I'm, this? It's not a it's not a pairing that I'm particularly enthused about. Like it's not one that I mind. Right. But, like. Just pick, just pick a line with it. Just, just do it. Just, just do it or don't. Like, right. I, I don't care about their world. I want that. No, that's not at all. And also, like, from that perspective, also, it's weird to me to for like there to be a romantic interest among the turtles. Like, oh my God, the Raphael Al Alapex garbage. Well, no, 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 not even that. Like, that's that doesn't bother me if it's like mutants, if it's April and a turtle. Oh yeah, no, that's like, weird. That's real weird. It's weird. Like I know they're humanoid. I know this, but um. Yeah, human, human and humanoid are two here. very different things. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We had um. An extensive Christopher and I actually had an extensive off-air conversation about that during the last letters page. Oh, really? Yeah, the the, the world will never hear. Well, uh, that's probably for the better. But about the mechanics of werewolf relationships. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of gray area that I'm really glad doesn't exist in real life. <laughs> I need a, I need like a, 
Uh, so there's there's a, a rumor that our school may be uh, dumping a bunch of document cameras, and if that is the case, I will try and snag one and send one your, uh, your way. Oh, uh, that would be killer. Yeah. Because, like, this here is for Birch. Yeah. This is, just, this is just a webcam, you know? Right. I, just, I have on a little thing. Yeah. So. Yeah, if, if we offload the old ones, I will try and snag one. That would be amazing. It won't be quite as high def as the, the ones that Broody and I have, but... It'll definitely get the job done. Yeah. This isn't my primary occupation. Correct. We just happened to get ours on like mega sale on Amazon. So. Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. I watch a lot of British television. Sue me. Uh, oh, Amazon. <laughs> Let's go take a roar down the Amazon River. Got <laughs> What was it? Um, oh, yesterday. RPD, what was it that yesterday we were like, why, where's Adam and why, why do we need his voice right now? I think it was your, I don't know, was it your Michael Caine voice that we needed? Oh, my Michael Caine. I do love my Michael Caine. Oh, oh it was the old timey radio voice. thing. What was it for? Uh, something went badly wrong in um, Cthulhu Death May Die. <laughs> You're just like, whoa! Yeah. And I couldn't That's get... That's not what we wanted, get, Billy. Yeah, I, I couldn't get my radio voice to cooperate. Another soldier in the fight against communism. <laughs> that's, a, that's a Scrubs reference. That is a Scrubs reference. Oh, yeah. Season 1, episode uh, 7 or 8, I believe. It's the one where JD uh, is supposed to tape record the birth and doesn't put a tape in it. Ah, uh, yep, 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 yep. I know that show way too well. <laughs> Very well. Scrubs reference, you know what that means? Oh, it's, oh yeah, of course, it's kombucha time. Today I am drinking uh, Trilogy from GT's Kombucha, not a sponsor, but Dave, let's talk. Um, it's kind of all the best flavors smashed into one. I had the uh, America Mountain Dew today. Oh, yeah, it's it's weird because um, it is it's like the red, white, and blue one, right? It's mm -hmm. USA, right? Yep. Okay, fair. Uh, yeah, and they um, they use they use uh, it's not actually like its own flavor. Okay. It's three different Mountain Dews mixed together. It's the red, white, it's code red, live wire, and. Oh, weird. White out. Oh, God. I don't know that Maybe. I'd be okay with that. They're all mixed together in one Dew. It's like purplish. That's so weird. I mean, I guess it makes yeah. sense. But I was like, okay, this is not, it's not the best, but it's a strange mishmash of, of, uh, a random assortment of things mashed together in a way that kind of works. So yeah. a lot like America. Yeah, well, I guess that's fair. Um, we were a little bit worried at the store today because the only uh, the only Mountain Dew we could find was um, the Taco Bell one. What the heck's it called? Uh, Baja, Baja Blast? Blast? That's like the best one. Oh, I don't like it. I don't care for it at all. <gasps> hey, Kirk! How you doing, man? I'm about yeah, to get fired from my own like show. I'm taking it over because you don't like Baja Blast. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. I'm the captain now. <laughs> Am I going to have to make another another birth month concession here? <laughs> what the... mm. 
Welcome to another letdown. This is Adam. This is my channel now. <laughs> I mean, so... Other than my hosting, most of the images you see here are done by Adam, so... You do have a fair claim to this channel. <laughs> Zach has been sacked because he doesn't like Baja Blast, and I found that unacceptable. I mean, to be fair, though, I don't really care for Mountain Dew in general. Yeah, right, well. I like Code Red, like, sometimes. Code Red's good. But Got that cherry flavor. Yeah. I found I... out you can make Baja Blast. Okay, go on. I'm, in, I'm interested now. Mountain Dew. You just use Baja Blast and the blue Powerade. Oh! Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, it's like a, uh, I think it's like a 70-30 mix. Right on. Yeah. Well, you were uh, fortunate enough to miss the time that Alex put blue Gatorade powder up his nose. Oof. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Your uh, co-conspirator for Sentinel Comics put him up to that. Why, though? Well, okay, so the story goes like this. Um, it be normal during the day, but at night, in the presence of evil, the writer <laughs> takes over. So, Christopher was, was running this elaborate con, uh, which you know about, um, but I'm not going to go into details because poor Maggie. Um, and his big misdirection was to roll up a $100 bill, hand it to Alex, and then create a line of Gatorade powder. Okay. He tried to convince Chris Kirkman to do it first. Kirkman wasn't having any of it. Yeah, no, because he, he's an adult. He's an adult and not a baboon. Yeah, I know. That tracks. Yep. Here's a question. Like, most of this seems fine. Um, what color would you wash blue? Like, blue flesh? Um, okay, so I would use Drakenhoff Nightshade for that. Like, definitely, absolutely. And I intend to with, Neb with Nebula. Okay, I don't have that one. Um, but it's basically, like, Drakenhoff Nightshade, you can just, like, do a really, really dark blue and mm -hmm. water it down a bunch. And okay. you should be able to. I mean, I know, yeah, I can make a wash. I can make my own. Yeah. Oh, hey, Steel Zephyr. Hey, Captain Kirk. All the base of this. Welcome to the program. Watching in part by viewers like you. The National Endowment for the Arts. Why doesn't the National Endowment for the Artists ever give money to, like, cool art? Give money to what? Cool art. That's like, a good question. Um, they seem like, very yeah. hung up on, like, boring stuff. Yeah, I mean, give it, give it, to, give it to your painting stream. I actually kind of hate the National Endowment for the Arts. Yeah. Just because, like, I think that it is, um, like, I think it's a fine concept, but at the end of the day, you have someone on a board deciding what is and isn't art, like, and I'm, like, I'm, like, opposed to that. Yeah, RPD just pointed out that the... <laughs> The monetary, the monetization of this show pretty much exclusively comes from uh, Westy, Kirk, and uh, Blink. Uh. It's 
speaking of Kirk, I see someone in the chat who doesn't have a, uh, a, 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 a thingy next to their name. Wow, shameless. <laughs> no, I just tease him about it. Because he's, <laughs> he's so reliable about it. It's just like, I see someone without a thing! It has become a joke. When it comes to loving you, I do anything you want me to. I do anything at all. <laughs> What are we doing here now? Okay. So Chamali came with to me just before we went live with an idea. I don't know if he mentioned it to you. Um, of doing, of building Og's stuff while we paint. And like, oh, I yeah. think it's a good idea in theory, but for the fact that it would take our attention away from painting. <laughs> I mean, I can talk about that stuff. I just can't right. type it. You know, right. I can't put it together. Yeah, and he, so he would. He was volunteering to do that. Um, but I also like with all three of us on, which will happen in coming weeks. Um, like, I, I I don't know that there's enough screen real estate to pull that up to even put another to put a Chamali box in here. Um, um, so, I mean, you, I just have to re reframe it, but um, yeah, but I, I could set it up for you. So I did that. Yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. I mean, I think I think it's worth a try. Did he want to? Did he want to talk about that tonight? No. Oh. He was just throwing it out as, a, as an idea for future. I think I, that, that's like, the way. I'm to talk about that in time. I mean, yeah. Let's do, that's gonna be the skin tone. We're gonna do black boots. Yep, that makes sense. I'm so happy that they used Comic Gamora. Oh my god, right? It's such a great costume, the white one. Yeah, it's so cool. That, like, I'm I'm just, I'm over the moon about it. Cause, like, I, I like her movie look just fine. Oh yeah. Um, I was a little surprised by it at first, I'll be honest. Because I expected comic, I mean... I've I've since learned better. Like, don't do that. Don't exp don't go in with comic book expectations. But well, also though, like I never uh, every character in Guardians of the Galaxy is not someone I ever thought I'd see on film. Fucking Nebula, Fr freaking Nebula. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like that. That and also the fact that it was Karen Gillan with her head shaved. Yeah. What? Why? Why did that happen? I know. And like since then, she you know she's got all her hair back and and not shaving it anymore for the role, but right. But like yeah, like I, that it, shocked like... me. <clears throat> and the fact that she revealed it in a Doctor Who panel. Oh yeah, I I don't I just don't think that of anyone is knowing about most of those like right, especially like Gamora and. Uh, Gamora and Nebula are like such deep cuts. Right. Drag. Yeah, I, I was really impressed with how successful that movie was. And it, it, sort of in spite of all that. Um, just proves that they know what they're doing. Or I guess in James Gunn we trust. <laughs> and then briefly didn't. Yeah. Apparently he finished the first draft of the Guardians Holiday Special. Okay. I'm, I'm there for it, man. I still want Disney Plus to release the Star Wars Holiday Special. Good luck with that. I know. No one really some cut versions of the movies. Well, yeah. Or like uh. Un un yeah. un George Lucas did. I was hoping for <laughs> you on <want> US one. <laughs> Did you see they took the Spider Man animated series off D plus? Yeah. I was really bummed because I just started watching it. <laughs> yeah. I, or I like know about, yeah. um, very legal places to watch it. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, I mean, that's definitely. Should you, should you want to? Oh, trust me, man. I I, I know how to find that too. <laughs> it's not even hard. No, it's, it's really like, not. You don't even have to download anything anymore. You just go here, duck duck go. Mm -hmm. They're called extra legal places because they are extra legal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, I didn't put the file there. No. I don't know what it's doing there, but I need to like make sure that you know. No, it, it's not any contraband. Yeah. So. I mean, even so, like, I found that um, one of those places that you directed me for comic book stuff. Yeah. Um, is just super convenient, and even if I own the issue, I generally just read it online now. Yeah, I'll do a lot of that. Um, and, uh, like, especially if I want a high res image yeah. of it. Um, and I found, like, one of them, one of the two is super good for brand new stuff, and one of the two is super good for old stuff. Mm hmm. And also, like, I put in a request, so I did this when I had, um, when I had Marvel Unlimited, too. Yeah. I was like, hey, this issue isn't on here, you know, can you put this on? Yeah. And, um, a year went by, and I continued to have the service, and it never got put on. Right. Uh, I did it on this website. I was like, oh, this issue's not there, is it? And before the end of the day. Oh my god, that's rad. Yeah. Who am I, like, other black? It's like not completely black. Oh, here it is. Corvus Black. I don't know who the heck Corvus is, but he's got a black. It's a bird. RPD's reminding us that the magic word here is allegedly. <laughs> I think this guy is just straight up Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day in a straight jacket. Dude, yeah, I was looking at the I was looking at the Black Order minis mm -hmm. today because um, we were talking about them. And I was like, is there anything I want to use these for at all? Um, and like, yeah, I feel like I could make um, Leader and Abomination out of the two of them, mm -hmm. um, but they all are just like fourteen-year-old Edge Lord names. <laughs> Corvus Blade. Corvus, yeah, Corvus Glaive. Glaive, sorry, yeah. Yeah, Ebony Maw. <laughs> oh my god. I Call of Obsidian. One, one of them had to just have, like, an emo kid who was sitting in there, sitting in the dark listening to Cradle of Filth. Yeah. And just, like, picked up the CD back cover. <laughs> and they were like, Call of Obsidian, that makes it good. Yeah, the Black Order's dumb. That's exactly what I... Uh, Undercut us. Yeah. Uh, so I was just writing down the ones that I want for my boss to order them. And yeah. uh, I was like, I don't give a blank about the Black Order. They suck. Yeah. And it doesn't even do the fun thing where one of the names is normal like the minions in Dodgeball. <laughs> Corvus Corax is the edgy one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, very, very helpful. Steel Zephyr, very helpful.
we had our first uh, first game of 40k in the store today since over a year ago. Yeah. I've been meaning to ask you, how is like, um, I hear a lot of, I hear a lot of chatter online, you mm -hmm. know? Um, are you selling like, like how is, no, I'm, let me ask this normally, like a human. Yep. Um, what is, what is the ratio usually, if you know, mm -hmm. of um, back issues to new issues sold, and what's it at now? Um, so, normally, so we don't have a whole lot of people coming in and buying things off the rack for new issues. We never have. It's not really what our store's been known for. Um, and we have a really good working relationship with Jetpack Comics, uh, which, where I used to work. Um, and they're, they're just a little bit further away. So, like, if you want new issues, you go there. If you want back issues, you come to us. Oh, okay. That's just kind of how it's always worked. And it's definitely skewing even further in that direction right now. Yeah, I mean, I've like, basically, I've been hearing that a, a lot of stores are con <clears throat> contemplating switching to back issue only. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, uh, with all the shakeups that are going on at the distribution level, like, yeah. Yeah, with, with that and like with the quality of books generally going down, and uh, the whole thing that people are buying more back issues, and mm -hmm. it's becoming more of a boutique industry. Yeah. And I'll be honest, the, the thing that's really kept us going through the last year um, has been... Uh, RPGs. Yeah. D&D, &D, SCRPG. Actually, SCRPG. We can't keep SCRPG on the shelf. That's good news. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I figured you'd appreciate that. Um, I think this this the copy we've got on the shelf right now has lasted the longest, and it's been there for a week, maybe? I mean, admittedly, part of that is the fact that I work there, and I can be like, hey, I can teach you this game. It'll take, like, two seconds. I mean, that's, like, that's pretty invaluable, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like, well, that's something that we talk about, um, is we feel like any of our games, if they came with Christopher in the box, like, everyone would buy it. Yeah. You know? Uh, so how do you create that experience? Yeah. Um, from the rule book. You know? Yeah, it, we're, exactly. And I mean, right. admittedly, we have... Effectively, we have two citizens assigned to our store. We have me and we have um, Jim, who I don't know if you've met. Um, I met... But, Jim Bolton? Uh, I can't remember what his last name is. I think he's only done PAX East, so... Oh, okay. I got someone to buy some enhanced edition over Marvel Champions. Nice. Sweet. Good, because Marvel Champions pisses me off. I know it does. It uh, irks me as well. I do want to play Crisis Protocol one day. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. That's like, <laughs> this another... pretty rad, honestly. It's just like, this is a game that if you're not into it, it's impossible to get some play if, like i will never get Ness to play this with me right i was just gonna say add it add it to the list for when i come down to visit next time yeah because you know i will play it with you right i would like to like try and get a couple more people so we could do like a thanos fight yeah too because thanos comes with two character sheets i know he comes with like one like boss mode it's freaking sweet i'm excited I don't want to do that. I want to do that for Oz too. Yeah. I also kind of want to. I want to modify Oz a little bit in terms of um, like I don't know how much I like the Crisis Protocol system. I know I like the menus. You know? Yeah. Right. Exactly. But um, I think that 
I think that using augs with the crisis protocol measuring sticks works just as well. Mm -hmm. Because you you just like you're just not um, you just treat them each as like one space, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know for sure, but I like the measuring sticks. I think that that's a cool. Cool thing that they did with X-Wing, and I'm glad they did it here. Mm -hmm. I think it works well for these, but um, yeah, I don't know. we'll see. I know a couple of other guys who picked up Crisis Protocol uh, around here, and uh, so we will we will learn it at some point. I know the boss wants to learn it too, so. Basically, if I start ordering a bunch of a product, the boss kind of insists on learning it. Oh, okay. Which is weird, because he mostly likes things like Catan. <laughs> that is not for me. No, I kind of... Act like, the only time I'll willingly play Catan is if I'm incredibly hungover and someone says, let's play a game. <laughs> Carcassonne at that point. Yeah, well, that, I mean, yeah, that's a good point, too. Although, like, for me, the game of Carcassonne is not the game of Carcassonne. Right. Kirk says the only time I'll willingly play Catan is never. Yeah, I mean, that's... Because I'm old enough and responsible enough now to avoid getting hungover. <laughs> This is also true. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that day was bad. Lady Drake's family can understand and enjoy. Yeah, the same the same holds true for um, my wife's family. Although I've also introduced them to things like Pictionary, which are very easy and still incredibly fun. Although incredibly frustrating if you're an artist. <laughs> yeah, I suck at Pictionary. Well, because I mean, our our instinct is to draw. It, it's yeah. it's the whole don't tell an artist not to draw thing. You know what I mean? Right. I, like, start building up a sketch, and I'm like, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, God. I, uh, a couple years ago, uh, my principal, on, like, the early, like, beginning of the year days, um, gave us each a piece of paper and said, okay, I want you to draw a pig. Figuring, oh, that's a fairly easy thing, and everybody will be able to draw in five minutes. He didn't tell us that he was putting a timer on us. So here I was on my laptop looking up reference photos of what a pig looks like and drawing a sketch and like going to town. Even the art teacher didn't start doing that. And he's, he called time. I'm like, what? And he starts asking us all these questions about like, okay, how did you draw your pig? And I was like, I drew a wireframe, dog. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so I discovered this cool thing with contrast paint. Yeah. Um, there's a turquoise, like, bright, bright, bright teal contrast paint that I'm going to use on this guy's pants. And it's going to look really cool. I did it on the Joker thugs, and I was really happy with it, so I'm going to keep, keep keep the party rolling here. I haven't screwed with contrast paint at all yet. I, in I general, have... don't care for them. But... You gave me a few of them. Yeah. But I have not yet messed with that 
So, like, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, the point of contrast paint is to not have to wash it? Um, it's basically cuts out the base coating step. Or is the way they, that's used as the way they intend it. Uh, for me, okay. I, I just use it as a tint. Yeah, my steps are all, all messed up anyway, so. Yeah. I don't use, I don't use, like, the same steps as everybody. Like, uh, uh Citadel has their whole, like, system, right? Yeah. That's like, well, you use this for this, and this for this, and this for this, and I'm like... That's hogwash. Like, no. Yeah. I'm like, well, I'm going to make a wash out of corn red. I'm my own person, gosh darn it. Yeah. I do what I want, and I am an adult. My dad's not a phone! Put it on the ground, yeah. <laughs> Don't try to buy me a hot dog, man. <laughs> I mean, more applicably, don't try to buy me, Steve, from the Skulls Department. So there's been, like, there's been a lot of Warhammer humor going lately. Have you noticed this? I'm sorry, Warhammer what? Humor. Oh my god. Yeah, the, it's it's definitely ticked up a little bit since uh, top of the year. Well, since 9th edition dropped. Any of it. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah. A new edition came out. Which uh, strikes me as incredibly funny because Warhammer Fantasy, where it all started, mm -hmm. uh, was on its 8th edition and then they canceled it. So we just assumed that Games Workshop hated nines. Uh, turns out that is not the case. Turns out they just don't give a crap about their fans. Yeah, okay. Which I probably should have expected. The only Warhammer humor I need is the gift from the gift from Astartes of the guy punching another guy's head off while his partner makes sure to confirm the kill. Yeah, I don't get that at all. I don't either. I just know that it's. I mean, I, I'm I'm equating it to um, a death in the family when Batman when Superman rescues Batman from the bay, and Batman's yelling, uh, "Find the body! He's not dead if you don't find the body!" And then you see mm -hmm. Aquaman's trident in the background. <laughs> Because it just shows how useless Aquaman is, in most cases. He was he was completely useless. For time. Yeah, I I love how they made him useless again in New Fifty Two, when uh, Superman was for one reason or another incapacitated, and Aquaman just kind of bursts into the Hall of Justice and goes like, "All right, who's in charge? Nobody. Great, you're all with me now. Let's go." My favorite T-shirts that I've ever owned. I don't know where it is right now. Uh, it was it was an Aquaman T-shirt that said, "Protecting our oceans from trash and crime." <laughs> I got it at Six Flags. Trash and crime. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck Aquaman is essential to prove how much of a BA Green Arrow is in Deceased. Yeah, that's true. I do love me some Green Arrow. Uh, pretty cool, anyway. Yeah. Uh, Kevin Smith's Green Arrow is what I... Oh my god, Quiver is so good. Yeah. Onomatopoeia is probably my favorite villain uh, that's been created in my lifetime. I, I haven't read that much DC, honestly, but 
I mm. love the anime series. The most about it. Yeah. Yeah, like around New Fifty Two, when Scott and Greg were doing Batman, I read a ton, and I was up to date. And then after that, I was just like, uh, "Reboot, I don't care anymore." But I'm still buying these issues because I guess why not? I will. I like. I watch YouTube a lot, mm-hmm. uh, so like, I'll get issues on there. I watch that. Um, what's what's her name? The um, her name's Sasha. Oh, no. oh, she does really good videos. Uh, she did one about how Supergirl dated a horse once. Oh God! I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, that, that is a thing that happened. I have no response for it. Yep. Um, Sometimes it'll be like just the ones that are just like, here's this completely off the wall story from the Silver Age. Yep. This is what they did then. Speaking of Supergirl, though, like, I'm surprised and, and like, pleasantly surprised to say this last season is bringing it. Yeah. They, it's, it's... I fell off with all the Berlantiverse shows. Yeah. Um, boy, years ago now. Yeah. It was, um... The season of Flash with Savitar. Oh, season three, yeah. Yeah, that's that one was rough. Out. And like alchemy. And, you know, yeah. Like I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Yep. Um, I I will. I'm I'm gonna make a bold prediction about Supergirl this year, though. I think. So they're they're in the middle of a time travel arc. Okay. And being that it's well known at this point that Legends of Tomorrow is their current best show, um, which is saying something because it did not start out that way. Yeah, it was awful when I was watching it. Yeah, it was it was real bad. Um, I think they're setting up some dangling plot threads that the Legends will have to take care of. Okay. I was mostly mad at their wasting Vandal Savage. Oh my god, right? It was it was a complete waste. It was a trash a trash fire. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and then like I guess they got they got Neil McDonough uh like contracted so like his character was in everything for a little while. Yeah, oh, it was, that was rough. Yeah. Like, what? last season on Legends, he was good. Because it was all he was doing. I think he's a fine actor. It's not... Like, he's not really my problem. Right. Like, I just don't think the character's very good. Right. Damien Dark, that was, that was who it was. Yeah. yeah. No, they introduced um, Brandon Routh's wife as Damien Dark's daughter. And she was one of the legends for a while. And then they both left the show to be a couple. And it was, like, in real life and in the story. I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. Yeah, I I felt like they didn't really know what to do with Ray Palmer. Also, for a long time. Um, Like, he's a fun character. Once they settled into something with him. Yeah, I like. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't hate him on uh, Erico. Right. They did. They did a weird thing on there, though. If you remember this, that they made. They did an episode where Ollie was basically Batman, and uh, and Adam was basically Superman. Right. And they themed the music around it too. And yeah, it was like this is weird, guys. Well, the, the the reason they were doing that is because Brandon Routh was Superman. They were trying to right do, go tongue in cheek with it, uh, and then they eventually just were like, "Okay, that didn't land. Let's actually make him Superman." Just have him play Superman. Yeah, he, he, he was yeah in the crossover. Which I'm kind of glad they're not doing a crossover this year because. 
they, they just put too many eggs in one basket for it every year. Yeah, I think that, like... It doesn't need to be an entire franchise. You don't need to cross in Riverdale. No. <laughs> I love Riverdale. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm that guy. But, good lord. It doesn't need to be in your superhero crossover. Did Supernatural get in there? Yes, it did. Really? Yep. Oh my god. Uh, it showed up later in Legends of Tomorrow, but... Wow. Yep. They were, they, they like... Yeah, it was. It was actually very tastefully done. Um, they showed up on the set. It's just kind of shameless over there. Oh yeah. They're just like, yeah, I don't care. We're just gonna do what we want. You got it, Kirk. Continuity be damned. Oh yeah, and Kevin Conroy was in as Batman. Oh, was he? Yeah. He was Bruce Wayne. He was Bruce Wayne, old man Wayne. That's uh, cool. And basically, um, if I'm recalling correctly, he and Supergirl got at it, and he tried to kill maybe Batwoman. I don't know. It was a pretty forgettable crossover, if I'm honest. Sucks. Especially considering it was supposed to be Crisis. So if you have Batman and you have Anti Monitor and like. Had a lot of cool characters that I care about, and they just it just didn't work. The best part of it was the Smallville scene. Uh yeah, I won't disagree with you. I never watched Smallville. Get Rosenbaum. Huh? It's a shame they didn't get Michael Rosenbaum. Yeah. The best Lex Luthor in history. Uh dude, John Cryer is. Killing it as Lex Luthor. I don't care. <laughs> oh, and notice I did not disagree with you. I'm just pointing out okay. the fact that. He has a beard and I don't like that. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know. I don't like when they try and reinvent Lex's hair. You mean Jesse like... Eisenberg? <laughs> yeah. Well, like... Or like, um, uh, in the nineties, with uh, Lois and Clark. Yes. Oh my God, that was weird. He just had hair in it, and they're yep. just like, "This is Lex Luthor," and I was like, "No, it's not." Uh, okay. Um, I know it shouldn't be that important, but it is though. I mean, so many years of comic book history, Lex Luthor was bald with no facial hair. I mean, a lot of people don't really get that, though. Like, it is because comics are this visual medium, and the look of a character is 90% of what makes them iconic in the first place. Yes. Like, it's super important that when you translate it to screen, it look the same. Yeah. With few exceptions. Yeah, I mean, a few exceptions. Very few. Yeah. But, like, this is uh, in um, The Wolverine, mm -hmm. which I mostly like. I think it's a very good movie. Yeah. Right? Um, Viper is in that and is blonde. Would it have killed you to make her hair green? Right. Especially with blonde hair, it's not that difficult. Yeah. If that's a deal breaker for the actress, kick him to the can. It would not have killed you. No. She put a wig on her. Right. And actually, they did because she was bald in it. That's you're she right. So someone made a conscious decision to screw that up. Someone did it on purpose. They like messed it up on purpose. Or if you don't want to make her hair green, make it black. Yeah, black would work fine. <laughs> because, like, it's green-black in the comic. Right. I don't understand why it's like you have a guide in front of you. Yeah. You have you have a visual... Like, they've done the work for you. Right. You don't have to... You don't have to... 
reinvent the wheel on this. It's it's basically like all your uh, costuming work or costume costume pre dev is done for you. Yeah, yeah. Make it look like the picture. Yeah. If, if I was directing any of those movies, I'd be like, make it look like the picture. And it looks like this. You do this. Yeah. Some costume designer comes in and is like, so we were thinking that it would be a version of street clothes, and be like. My- my response to that would be, I don't pay you to think. Yeah, I'd be like, okay, so you're fired. Um, <laughs> make it look like a picture. Honestly, our uh, mystery who doesn't have a massive pressure. <laughs> Despite taking the skills with the most text to tran- transcribe, it took no time at all to make a www character. Right on. RPD. I mean, that's good. I 3D printed a. Um, well, there, it's a set of um, Arkham Horror Second Edition card like holders, but I'm finding that it's exactly the right size to fit on my phone and holds my phone in place on my desk. So now I'm like piling miniatures on my phone because <laughs> it happens to be a flat surface right next to me. No. Oh, gotcha. Okay, that's, that makes sense. Probably. Trying to do the... That's the sort of thing that was like, you had to practice, makes you forget. Well, it just means that you're learning and growing. I guess. <laughs> or relearning and re- regrowing. The opposite of that is like, backsliding and shrinking. <laughs> backsliding and shrinking. <laughs> Shade. So I did a cool thing. I'm looking forward to this once I get to the base here. Um, <laughs> that um, I'm gonna try and match um, all the guardian ones because, like, so it comes with a with like. Uh, I think there's like eight different standard bases. Mm-hmm. You know, most of them are just like this paving stone, right? This, yeah this cross like that Mm -hmm. or like this one has like a curb on it yeah um 
But so most of all, I paint just like regular pavement. But the Guardians ones, you see a Star Lord. I did purple like this, mm-hmm. uh, and put like some weird color blocking. Oh, cool! So, so it looks like an alien world. Yeah. Instead, um, and then like uh, Thor, I painted it gold. As you, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so I'm gonna do and. Uh, and I'm gonna do that with Valkyrie also, but Loki's I did blue and like and then dry brushed white on it, so it still looks like white. Yeah. Um, but because like they're never gonna look like they fit 100 percent anyway, I was like, let's just make them look like weather. Um, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I, I guess the Batman minis are a little bit easier because they're all in a city. Right, yeah. It's in the name, Gotham City Chronicles. Yeah, and those ones, I'm just going to have to just, like, dry brush the base a little bit, and it'll be, it'll be fine. Yeah, I, I went with... Um, or, like, wash it and then dry brush it. Yeah, I, I do just a base coat of Mechanica Standard Gray, and then uh, wash uh, Agrax Earth Shade, and then dry brush... Um, what is this called? Terminatus Stone? Yeah. Those are primed gray for me already. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, so you're... Literally just skipping a step. Yeah, I prime most of them. I prime most of these white so I can get really bright colors. Mm-hmm. Um, but the Batman ones, I was like, uh, I, like I want these still to be able to pull out some bright colors, but I want, uh, I, I want them a little bit darker. So I made them uh, a good gray. Yeah, I did mine all black because that's just what I'm kind of used to at this point, but. Most people do black. I'm, I'm really happy with how the white works. Yeah. Uh, for comic book ones, especially. Yeah, I, I find that, like, DC, I want the black because it's grittier. Um, and then I, I've my Crisis Protocol minis are all primed white. I wouldn't want that for Superman, though. Well, he's not in Gotham City Chronicles, though. But I agree with you. Yeah, if I, if, if I ever got a Superman mini... I would paint it white, or prime it white. I really hope that August does not go the way the buffalo. I hope that they yeah. manage. I hope I they find a home for it, yeah. because... What's that? I hope they find a home for it. Yeah, I, I hope so, too. But I really want... Um, I really want... Batman Beyond and Justice League. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, a Justice League one would be so cool. Yeah, or the Superman animated series too, you know, like mm-hmm. all, all those would be great to have. Oh, can you imagine a Flesher Brothers like box as a like an add-on pack? Oh, that'd be so cool. I would buy that so fast. Yeah. Oh my man. It would be really neat to paint a pleasure Superman. Yeah. I guess I can do this on camera. I'm just inspecting this model. Um, I mean, Zaz is usually an inmate, right? Like, he usually wears the yellow pants, or the orange pants. Yeah, usually. Okay, cool. I'm usually it's like orange pants orange pants shirtless mm-hmm. and then I'd make do like um like a redder wash to pull out those nicks. I don't know if he's got them on the mini. Yeah he does. They're raised, so they're scabs. Oh okay. um I think. So maybe dry brush them then? Um so I actually have a way of painting um scab tissue that I learned doing Chaos Dwarfs. But I'm gonna oh, try. Okay. It's a purple wash. It's a purple wash and then a dry brush. Um, so I'm gonna okay. try it and we'll see what happens. It's in my I app. Feel so like I, wash, I mean, the wash is gonna go in the recesses, though, right? Yes. And you want it? You want it on the raised parts in this instance? Um, not necessarily, because the inflammation would happen at the base, and then the the raised part would be lighter. Okay. Hmm. I did pick up um, makeup brushes. Oh, cool. Like this? Yeah. Oh, for dry for, brushing? For dry brushing? Yeah. Nice. They I have really well. 
I have three dry brushes now because my medium base brush. I, again, you and Ness rock and got me these new brushes. And so How my previous working? base brush is now a <laughs> dry brush. Are those working pretty okay for you? They are. My one um, gripe about them is they retain mm -hmm. water, like really bad. Mm. So you have to like, I have, I have to dry them and like dry them again and then dry them again before I can use a different color. <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean I suck it out, but I mean I do that too. But even that doesn't quite get there. Mm, okay, and then I think I want I want the pure black. Uh, Avalon black is darker than pure black. Yes, yes it is. It is the darkest. Uh, it, is, it is the edgiest of edgy blacks. when I have to use so much paint to get a decent color. Mm -hmm. You know, but... Yeah, I'm actually running into that right now. This Jokero orange is very thin. I require a couple coats to cover. We'll be able to pull a lot of that detail back out with inking, but... This is a go-to for me to um, to do like um, for for black. I'll do like um, I'll do like a drop of black per two drops of like a navy blue, mm -hmm. um, and it gets a really good comic color. Yeah. Um, Um, and then you obviously do just a plain black wash on it to so get to get those pure black. Yeah, not every paint has an edge lordy name. <laughs> Missed. It's kind of a GW thing. Um, Reapers are very fantasy. Yeah. They're like, what do I have here? Runic purple, monster maw. <laughs> Void blue, but then like some of these are like lantern yellow, canary yellow, yeah, dun slime, cat's eye green. I think they're most. I think it's just really meant to be evocative, so you remember. Right. You know? Like, am I gonna remember Joe Caro orange tomorrow? No, I'm gonna remember it. orange base paint. One more instance of GW being stupid. Um, Vallejo started doing like a learn to paint night kit. Yeah. For the D and D minis, they are selling like dog poop. Nobody oh, wants yeah. them. Because, well, so it comes with the paints necessary to paint it. Or so they say. And mm -hmm. while Broody is able to get Vallejo to play nice with uh, Citadel, that's because he's experienced. So people try and get them, like, right out of the box to play nice with our Citadel paints, and they end up getting cranky about it. Yeah. Reaper plays nice with Citadel. Yes, it does. Yeah. These, these are these are 
I'm I'm very happy with the results of both of them mm -hmm. together, with mixing them together. They they seem very similar. Yeah, I think the consistency of the two is very similar. Um, I don't have much similar much much experience with Vallejo. Uh, and the only reason I know Reaper at all is because um, the speed painting things at conventions, I used to do those. Yeah. But I was so bad at them because I'm not a speed painter. I mean, yeah, it took I me... Yeah, I like a lot of time to kill. I thought about going and doing a, a, a paint and tape thing, you know. Yeah. Um, but it was um, like a big robot and I was like... Oh, yeah. I'm okay. I don't really have use for this. No. Right. Like, I love minis, and I want minis of, like, everything. But I don't really have a use for this robot. Yeah. Although there was one time where um, my buddy Doug and I you remember Doug, um, sat down at a uh, beginner's learn to paint table mm -hmm. just to troll everybody. <laughs> we got ourselves kicked out very, very quickly. Cool. <laughs> it's a dumb story. I don't know where I was going with it. His pose is really annoying. Zaz is? Yeah, he's got like one leg. It looks like he's taking a chair. He's having a giant fart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Killing gives me gas. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe his underwear got bunched up and he can't use his hands without putting down the knife. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on, I said. Batman's like... No! Do you need a second? <sighs> That's not what I'm here for. Just, I've been killing all day and you get sweaty and it just bunches up. It's This is embarrassing. <laughs> it's not comfy. <laughs> I don't know what this... this thing's supposed to be. I guess like an engine? Well, I mean, she is part robot. Mostly yeah, but, robot. No, she's like jumping off this thing. You know? Oh, oh. Like, I think she's jumping off. What is that? I don't know. I can't oh, tell. Man. So my favorite Silver Age comic um, is... Have you seen the Rainbow Batman? Mm, yeah. Are you familiar with that issue? I know of it, and I've seen the cover, certainly. Uh, so what happens in that is uh, Batman starts um, wearing a different colored costume every day. And they're all these gaudy, like, you know, bright costumes, mm -hmm. right? So it'll be like, oh, I'm red Batman today. Well, I'm green Batman today. Until, like, at the end of the week, he's wearing, uh, he's wearing the rainbow suit. 
and Robin is like, why did you do that? <laughs> oh, like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I do remember this. And it was because Dick Grayson uh, hurt his arm, and it was in a sling. Right. Uh, and rather than just not have him go out, <laughs> he's like, I didn't want anyone to notice that Robin and Dick Grayson were the same person. So I was... Their- like, over the top yeah. misdirection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why wasn't he just like, stay home, you're hurt? <laughs> oh my god, the Silver Age was a wonderful time. Yeah, uh, at one point on streams, uh, I think it was Captain Kirk convinced me to do, like, I'm gonna get a random Batman mini and paint it up as Rainbow Batman. Maybe I'll do that with, um, there's like the Batman of Zuran R in there. Oh, I don't yeah, yeah, yeah. Care. I don't care at all about that. I hate. Well, it. it's Grant Morrison. Of course, you don't care about it. <laughs> Batman run is atrocious. Really bad. It's so bad. So maybe I'll do that Rainbow Batman. Like, I remember audibly breathing a sigh of relief when I saw Tony Daniels' name on a Batman after Grant Morrison. And his, his, his run wasn't that much better. God, I remember the first Grant Morrison issue so vividly, how awful it was. Mm-hmm. Like... I think I could probably excite it. Because I would... That's one that I would keep behind the counter at the mm-hmm. comic store to pull out whenever someone was like, no, Graham Morrison's great. Ugh. I'd be like, yeah, okay, let's take a look. Defend this one. Yeah. Is he? Is he really? Ha, huh, I just shot Batman and in front of a bunch of vulnerable disabled kids, says the Joker. Oh, God. There's a quote from Batman. If there's one thing I hate, it's art without substance. That's the one thing you hate, Batman? It's not, I don't know, crime? <laughs> no, because that would put Rummy too close to um, the Crimson Bolt. M- murder in dark alleys? That doesn't... Does it ring a bell? Specifically Crime Alley? Which is also a really stupid name for a thing. <laughs> Boy, Batman's history of naming is uh, not strong. <laughs> no. I think this may be the first time in all of Gotham. No, no, I did crowbars. Okay, never mind. It's been the first time in a long time that I busted out of the lead belcher. Hey, you may be happy to know that uh, Hell's Kitchen is dangerous again. Yeah, because Daredevil's dead. Well, no, I <laughs> or no, he's in, in jail. Life. In real life. Oh, oh, wait, really? Yeah, it got like super gentrified and was like a really like hipster place, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, over the last few years, um, they were like really, really loose with their homeless policies, and so now it's like a, it's a homeless town and there's tons of crime again. Of course. Why wouldn't there be? Well, if you continue to call a place Hell's Kitchen, yeah. I I think that, like, there's only so much blame you can put elsewhere. It's true. It's true. Well, I guess maybe it just needs either a devil or four turtles to help it out. Mm-hmm. Yep. Either way, like, I'm fine with it. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, Tom King's another one. Oh. Where did they find him? Dude, that's uh, just atrocious. No, so like, he apparently used to be in the CIA. Then go back to the CIA! I don't know why he doesn't, like, write more, like, I don't know. Like the activity. Stuff, you know? Or Punisher, Instead even. Just, like, yeah, I don't know, but, like... I don't know why it's not. I don't know why there's not more like intrigue instead yeah. of just like his therapy on a page. Yeah. Did they use the explanation from Telltale Sam and Max season two where they said that Tom? K Wait, Tom King did Grayson? Is that why it was bad? I bought all of Grayson and I was monumentally confused through all of it. Well, Tim Seeley's not bad. I like Tim Seeley generally. Yeah, I was... So overjoyed when they were like, Tom King and David DuVernay's new gods is no longer. It's yeah. like, oh my god. Oh my god. The world will never know what a bullet we dodged. For real. This mopey, meandering garbage <laughs> that new gods would have been. I was so excited last week, by the way, when I got uh, that first Ramita Spider-Man. Yeah, that's really cool. That's a, that's a good get. Yeah. I managed to pull it off on store credit, too. Nice. Yep. I was. I have um, I have first appearance of Silver Surfer um, mm -hmm. that I got on store credit. That was like, I paid basically like $20 a week for it for like a few months. Yeah. I used to have Death of Gwen, but I sold it when I was broke. Mm -hmm. And I wish I hadn't done that. But yeah. I, I sincerely hope I never have to part with uh, DD1. Yeah, that's... Or Turtles I 1. Do have, um, I do have the first appearance of Shocker still. Nice. Um, He's a villain we need to do for Augs. Yeah, Shocker's got to get in there. I love Shocker. Um, he, uh, uh, I used to have First Appearance of Mysterio, too. <sighs> That's a good one. Three. I used to have that, but I... Man, I was an idiot. <laughs> uh, I got talked into selling that for... Um, for a friend's birthday or for like a friend's friend's birthday he's like can I buy this from you for you know this guy for his birthday oh. and I was like yeah I mean, that's like that's sure and he never paid me for it oh no yeah that's horrible yep and that is someone I don't talk to anymore so I don't blame you well, I, that wasn't even why. So it, it was years. But. Um, but yeah, that's that sucks. <laughs> um. Um, I do have... I have the first Sentinels. 
Nice. Yeah. That's, that's my earliest X Men issue. Which one is that? Uh, 15. Right. Okay. Oh, wow. They really upped their sculpt game for the named characters. Oh, my God. That's a lot better. It's so much better. Like, I can see Zaz's teeth. Ooh. It's going to be really hard to get in there, but one of the brushes you gave me is what I would call a psycho brush. <laughs> I think I'm going to be able to pull it off. A psycho brush? Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's actually a legitimate thing. Um... I don't know what company it is, but they, they have a brush that they call the Psycho. Oh. What does it do? What's it's it just do? tiny. It's absolutely diminutive. Oh. Um, oh, I don't know if you had a chance to listen to the podcast from, uh, from to This is Difficult from this past week, um, but I had a cool story that I think you will appreciate. Sure. Um, Paul did his review of Link's Awakening, mm -hmm. and uh, Josh and I gave him all kinds of crap because he didn't give it a perfect 10, um, but admittedly, he was right. They messed up some of the music cues, and that makes sense. That's a That's legitimate true. gripe. Um, so I was saying that, uh, because of all the crap we give Breath of the Wild, uh, I was goofing around with my student who just recently bought a Switch for her birthday, mm -hmm. and she was, like, all excited to, like, to go g buy Breath of the Wild. And I was like, don't buy Breath of the Wild. Buy Link's Awakening. I was just goofing off. Um, but she went to Walmart, uh, after our, um zoom call we were playing scrpg and um she bought her switch and she was intending to buy breath of the wild i get an email about half an hour later they were sold out of breath of the wild i can't find the sword and i knew exactly <laughs> what she was talking about <laughs> i was like don't worry about it we all had that problem it's on the beach good luck <laughs> And by Friday, when I saw her again, she was like, yep, I found it. Everything's fine. I'm in the forest now. <laughs> yeah, good luck getting out of there. Yeah, I didn't tell her the solution to that one. <laughs> she figured it out, though. She's a smart kid. Well, I was not a smart kid. No, I was Captain Dummy also. I was in that forest for so long. So long. But needless to say, I think I'm going to get. So my, my niece turns 13 on uh, Tuesday, I think. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get her uh, Link's Awakening. Nice. Game. It is such a good game. Everybody should play this week. Um, Empirically speaking, I I oscillate between that and Link to the Past. That's fair. I really love Link to the Past. Wrong, but fair. <laughs> Again, I will concede to you for birth month, and then I will stand by my opinion outside of birth month. Cool. 
I'm actually really impressed with this sculpt. This guy here. Oh. Behind, you're not, you're not my wife. Good see how this compares so this is this here on the on the left is um, the reaper acrylic mm -hmm. um, this one is deco art dazzling metallic oh yeah yeah, yeah. I've been using this, um, but like I, I go through so much metal with these characters, especially with the, um, especially with uh, with the the mousers. Mm -hmm. you know, I had to pin a thousand mousers, so Dude. it was like it's, I think it's too much. Like, yeah, that, that, yeah. Cool. All right. Well, I'll use that to like make something shine. This is actually that's. Actually, whoa, 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 whoa. Right, that, but also, like this stuff is so much cheaper. Yeah. There's something to be said for finding a cheaper alternative in a lot of these cases. Yeah. And like the pigment's not too bad on it either. Like, it feels pretty good. Yeah. You know what I'll actually do with that? There's like some really fine lines on her arm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. For like the machine bits? Yeah. I'm going to use those. I'm going to use this as, um, as like a wash. I'm going to use that and get that in there so that they, they sparkle a little bit. Yeah, that's a great idea. Should I make Zaz's shoes brown or black? Or blue? Uh, what kind of shoes are they? I, I can't really tell. They look like they might be boots, but they could also be loafers. I would go brown. Okay. Yeah. I will go with brown. Mornfang! You'll stand by. Yeah, this looks, this is great actually. Like really good coverage. Nice. Really smooth. And this is just like they just have this at the craft store. Mm hmm I think this was like two dollars a bottle. For like this giant thing. I actually did over thin this a little bit, but like, it still has really good coverage. Nice. Yep, I like brown. Brown is a good, good choice here. Not just because, like, I've been so many shoes black. Yeah. I run into that problem when I'm designing costumes. You can do that too. Like, I like the shoes the best. Yeah. Or the pants are worse, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> It's just like, okay, well, green pants, red pants, normal pants. <laughs> Finding like interesting shapes to put on things is like, oh. Yeah, it's an interesting design choice, Mist. I wouldn't have called that either. 
Only sometimes it does. They did him recently in uh, Batwoman, the TV show. Yeah. I, it was a good episode. Like, I'm not, not loving it this good. season. I think Ruby Rose was a better Batwoman than the new person. Um, yeah. But I also understand why she left. Um, she was grievously injured. Yeah. I would have left too. <laughs> yep. Um, but no, this the, the Zaz episode was. Sorry, Zaz episode was. Uh, uh, it was really fun. I enjoyed it. It cleans out of it really well too. I am nothing but impressed with Deco Art. Nice. Yeah. I I recommend. Like that just comes right out of the brush. Awesome. It's usually especially metallic. I have a lot to get out of there, you know? Yeah. Yeah, Gotham was an interesting bit of hit or miss uh, filmmaking in my in my book. Uh, although yeah, did... there's some some of it that I'm like, this is so good, and then some of it I'm like, this is the worst show ever. Yeah, right. My uh, although I will give it credit, it did bring my brother and me closer together. Uh, it was the first show that my brother was like, all right, look, I've been resisting this for years, but yes, clearly I'm a, I'm a nerd also. And uh, so we watched that together. It was pretty cool. And now he's like super into Star Wars. So anytime I call him, it's just Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. Which I'm totally down with. Uh, Mechanic is standard gray. What color would the handle of a knife be? Actually, I can just pull my knife out and look at it. Depends on the knife. Yeah. Next, mine is literally the same color. Is it a switch player? That Zaz is holding? Yeah. No, it looks like just a butcher knife. Or like a kitchen knife. And usually brown. Yeah. Yeah. It's usually a wooden handle. Yeah, that's cool. If it's just like a cheap. It looks like. It, yeah. It looks like it might be he just stole it from a kitchen store or something. Or like, yeah, the, probably the Arkham Kitchen. Yeah. Why you would even have any sort of blade in the building, I don't know. The Arkham Asylum has to be the single most unsecure penitentiary facility or detention facility in history. Yes. Like, the criminals are constantly taking it over. Oh my god. RPD, could you send Steel Zephyr to bed, please? <laughs> oh, blood death. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. That's, that's really, really good. good. You have to go to bed for good jokes. Yeah, go to bed for puns. There it is. That's not fun. I resent that bed sending. <laughs> no, I think it's a great joke. It is a great joke. That's this, why this is classic. <laughs> Arkham is so much of a mess that it recently had the Suicide Squad break in right as Joker gas attack started. Oh boy. I mean, ask me if I'm surprised. Surprise. No. Not in the least. Yeah, I think Arkham Asylum would be more secure if they just gave it to the Joker. Well, okay. Counterpoint to that, though. Yeah. Isn't that just the plot of Arkham City? Yes. <laughs> so... Well, but then also they, they go, well, well we're going to kill everybody in there. Yeah. Okay. 
but like there, there's too many working parts to that plan. Is right. The, is the problem. Right? You just, if you just give it to the Joker, say, are you like, oh no, Joker, you've taken it over. What, what are, are we going to do? Yeah, you let him kill everybody in there. And then you're like, oh, darn. Darn. I'm quite sure they didn't deserve it. Oh no. You're, you're in trouble. Whatever will we do? You're in such trouble, Joker. <gasps> we're, we're so mad at you. <laughs> Don't move you. <laughs> How long does Astro Granite take to drive? Uh, quite a while. Damn it. Okay. All right. hmm. Like I, I, my rule of thumb with the base te basing textures is let it go overnight. Hmm. 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 I just need like a little bit and then I want to paint on top of it. Uh, oh, if you're just using a tiny bit, then you should be like a few minutes. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I just need to, I need to blend where the impact is on this. Um, see how this like hits right here and there's like a sharp line there. Well, no, cause your hand is on the camera. Right. Oh, there you sorry. go. See how there's like a sharp line where the impact is. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to, I need to blend it. Oh, I'm gonna do this little stick boy out here. Big guy. Get a little bit of that on there. Okay, it's too much. Too, it's way too much. Turn that back. All right, good night, RPD. Thanks for sticking around, man. Later, RPD. What a champ that guy is. I mean, it's like the wee hours of the morning where he is. Oh, is it? He's from Denmark, dude. Oh, I don't know what time it is in Denmark. <laughs> well... Late at night here, so I assumed it was like morning there. I mean, technically, yes, that is true. Right, that actually might look good just in gray. <laughs> it is now 5.50 in the morning, his time. Maybe he... Uh, oh no, he's staying up. He does. He, he told me uh, at one at one point or another. He do, does often take naps before the show. Oh. Further illustrating what a champ that guy is. Oh. Thanks. For, thanks for coming. Oh my god! These yeah. models looking okay. cool. this very clearly oh that's cool it actually turned out really nice i might just leave that gray yeah because it looks like some weird alien mud you know yeah exactly i might just do that we'll see do you know how well do you know how well the technical stuff works as like um, adhesive for flocking? I uh, it I've never tried it from as an adhesive. You think we're just like a little tuft? How how hard does it get? I guess it gets real hard. Okay, that's what she said. <laughs> All right, I think these guys are still not quite dry yet, so. Yeah, the chairman on H equals three does suck. That is true, Captain Kirk. Yeah, I mean, I could have told you that one. I don't know why you didn't ask me. 
<laughs> we we do have kind of an expert here. <laughs> I I would I would go as far as to say two experts. Like I've done a lot of games against the chairman. I'm I would go so far as to say you're probably more of an expert on the game itself. There is that possibility also. I think that it is incredibly likely. Just because I do not get to play games very often. Yeah. I mean, I I think I, I do I do have to say like a lot of people assume that I play a lot more Sentinels than I do, and that is actually very wrong. <laughs> like the only time I really play Sentinels anymore is when I'm doing my stream for Handelabra. Because no, you, play, you play it once a week, don't you? Yeah, but well, that's that's what I mean. When I play it, yeah. And it's not that I dislike that time. It's just, you know, there are other games like the. How many hours did we put into Mercenary Kings this week? Not enough, man. That game's awesome. Oh, it's so good. I want more. What if we just blew off the stream and just play Mercenary Kings? <laughs> well, I think Jamali's probably gone to bed. No. Jamali, oh, wake up. <laughs> I, I I would like to finish it because I'd love to review it on the podcast. So I hope we can find some more times to play in the coming weeks. Yeah, I'm going to have um, first few days of this week will be fine. Once Christopher is back in town, I will be very busy for a little bit. Yeah, naturally. When we finish up stuff. Yep. But that actually will probably work out pretty well because the first half of this first the first half of any week is less busy for me than the second half. So. As I'm painting the bottom half of this jumpsuit, prison jumpsuit, all I can think of is no touching! No touching! No touching! God, I missed that show. Yeah, it was really good before they brought it back. Mm -hmm. Exactly, that is exactly what I mean. So many shows are. Yeah. Don't bring things back. Yep, no, just leave things alone. Their time. Like, they keep talking about, on, on the Scrubs podcast, they're like, oh, well, maybe we do a movie or something someday. I'm like, no, please don't. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to do that. So I gotta look up what to do about this skin. Because of 
course that's a defining characteristic of Zaz. Make sure I get it right. So I'm doing everything else first. It's not one at a time. We'll do it in a second. All good? Nope. Sorry, I have a sleeping baby. I'm just looking at this. Oh, okay. I forgot that the camera's on for a sec. <laughs> Dope! No, I haven't seen that. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, so I just cut his tail off, and then he, he had an eye patch already. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm like, that's pretty rad. <laughs> That's what I've been sitting here trying to do, is figure out where I put it. Okay, here it is.
flesh. And this is inflamed flesh. Okay. Looks like we're doing Carisburg Crimson instead of, or in addition to Flesh Shade. Which is going to be interesting. So the actual muscles will get Flesh Shade, the scars will get the Crimson. Music cut out again. Yup. Hey, Blink. What are you doing, dude? Adam's helping his wife right now, so we'll be back. A bit tired. Yeah, me too. I couldn't find the Citadel paint app a minute ago. It was on my phone somewhere. But that's not very helpful. When you need it. Tiny human.
have to wonder how Zaz gets the knife into specific places on his body. Like, the middle of his back. I always wondered that, too. Like... <laughs> One of, like, those toy Terminator arms. Right? Where he's, like, straps it to a ruler or something. <laughs> I hope I didn't make two marks. God forbid I miscount. It's really important that these numbers are accurate. So far, this is working really well. I'm gonna let that dry. So... I've seen a few TV shows and movies where someone lodges a knife in the door frame to stab themselves in the back. Yuck. <laughs> I call that I call that gross.
All right. Huh. We're just uh, further examining the physics of how Zaz gets his cuts dealt with. <laughs> And it got gross. Uh oh. What happened here? Oh. Trick of the light. One guy, second flush there, bro. Oh my god. So you did, you did all the specialty stuff, right? And all the basic stuff? Say again? Did you paint all the specialty and all the basic stuff? Yeah. Did you paint the, like, the bystanders and the cops too? No, I. so I'm... Lumping them in with heroes. Okay. God, that looks really good. I don't know if you can see. Oh. Like, how, like, messy that ended up looking. Uh, but it the... looks like it just went... Oh my god, that looks cool. Ground. Yeah. Why oh, I wish I had this camera would focus. Okay, I think I'm ready for washes. That's the nice thing about these brushes, tell you what, is when you wash, like especially this this guy here with the really big um, uh, tip, yeah. is like, it's so absorptive, you want to pull a wash off of something. Yeah. I'm still using my Citadel wash brush, um, mostly because it's like, I don't know, it's just like an old friend, almost. Yeah. But... Yeah, I've definitely done some washing with the new brushes too, and it, it's great. That accidental silver wash that I made? Yeah. It's just like, it's filling those... Those little cracks real well. That's awesome. Your, uh, just regular Bob Ross over there. Happy little accidents. The turn of the Matthew McConaughey. Don't even have to be by 
I don't know if you pay any attention to this garbage that RPD and Taffy and I put in a lifetime of cringe. As well. Yeah, there, there's there's one guy that we watch uh, fairly regularly who does. Um, he uses Mario Paint to uh, do Bob Ross tutorials. Oh God! And it comes out. It works. Oh my God. But what's funny about it is he's this he's he's from Sweden, so he has a bit of an accent. But uh, he's he's always yelling at Bob to like slow down and stuff because he's trying to keep up with Mario Paint. <laughs> so he's like Bob, Bob, oh God, Bob, slow down, slow down, Bob. so long since I've actually had a mix of wash. Yeah. A little bit, a little bit of yikes on it. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Let's see here. So play Tachyon turn. So I played a Tachyon turn through one of Chairman's informants. Is the right play? Well, yeah. I watched way too much Food Network as a kid. Because that was a Yan Can Cook reference. I did not watch Food Network as a kid, but I watched it a lot as an adult. I mean, I still, like, right around this time of year, almost every year, I get an iron, uh, a Japanese Iron Chef kick. Something you ought to look at. From what? That's from Batman Returns. Oh, I know. Tell you what, Dodge, let 
looking good. That's that's what matters. face actually turned out pretty good. Awesome. Not stressing out, but it's like, it's the hard part. Okay. Yeah. I definitely don't care about faces on these thugs nearly as much as I would on a named model. Right. Which is why I'm so happy that Zaz is, um, detail is better. Yeah. No more is just cheating. It's just cheating. It sure is. Just put this on here. It's like, oh, you wanted it to look good? I'm like, yeah, can you, can you do that? I'm like, of course, of course. Yeah, we got it. Oh. You can make it look like I, I painted it well. Yup. Alright. I don't know how they do it. Um, it's packed with, uh, the Elder Gods of Chaos. Oh. They, uh, they just offer up a little bit of blood blood to the blood god and uh, he, he generally takes care of it. Either that or he turfs, turfs it to the Lord of Change and then all, all bets are off. Setback just said, whoops, sorry, and knocked the chairman into a living conflagration. <laughs> we win. <laughs> nice. I'm really interested to see how people like the changes to that stuff. Yeah, me too. Because, like, some of us change in pretty a lot. Yeah. Is Chairman still going to suck to play against? Um, ideally. That's that's the idea. That's the hope. Um, uh, we're talking about making it even worse. I know I've told you this before, Adam. Um, my sister works at Pike Industrial. For real? Yes. It's a real place? It, it is 100% a real place. Oh, okay. It is... Two and a half miles uh, east of where I live. How many, how many siblings do you have? Well, one biological, and uh, my sister is actually just my best friend. I just call her oh, my sister. Okay. So you like me? Yeah, more or less. Okay. Want to know where we stand? 
something that I wanted this to look weird, right? I wanted it to look, look like that. Yep. You're the only planet. So I did the Agrax Earth Shade on top of the purple face. Yeah. And it just turns out really nice. It's like it's a bizarre sort of blushing this like. Yeah. Yeah, there's a certain amount of this that's kind of like riding a bike. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think this is a wife-mandated activity. Um, I don't have to be doing it. I'm going to let that dry a second. So that I, can... well, I, I will be honest. When when you told Broody and me that, we were, that you were coming back, we were like, Oh my god, this is the greatest day ever! <laughs> I just need to get this stuff painted, you know? Like, yeah. Well, I mean, that's how we feel. That's exactly why we started the show. Yeah. Or why I started the show. And then you convinced me to bring you and Broody on, and then you left. Yeah. Well, that's, that seems to be my MO. So, yeah. um, I don't know if I showed these on the stream, but, like, so I made these little palettes, right? Yeah. Um, and... But since I'm waiting for this wash to dry, I want to I want to try washing them. Yeah, do two, it. I want to try washing two of them differently here. We're gonna try an agrax on one, just to make them look like weather different. Yeah. But these are just made out of um, um, popsicle sticks, basically. So, a suggestion. Yeah. Did I give you Ethonian camo shade? You did not. Oh, okay. Because that would make a really cool rotten wood effect. Oh, yeah. This one's turning out... This is... This is Agrax Earthshed, and it's turning out nice. Man. Yeah, it does. It, it, That's like a really worn talent. Mm-hmm. Uh, very absorptive, so it takes a lot of wash to do. Yeah. But... I know some people put like uh, pinholes in these sometimes. Mm -hmm. So that the nails stick out. Yeah, I've seen that too. I don't love it. Right. That, that, looks, that looks really cool. Oh my that god, looks, that looks that awesome! Looks stick it in our maple sugaring arch and set it on fire and make maple syrup. Is that is that what you you burn pallets for yeah. that? Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. It's cheap and readily available. And make it really, really hot. That's what the Agrax Earth shade looks like on there. Um, really nice. Mm -hmm. Really like old warm wood. I was gonna try the rifle flesh stick shade also. Oh yeah. And see how that one goes. This is like a lot more red. 
So I might just do, let's, let's just try one board here. It's good. Yeah, that seems good. It's, um... Ooh. Oh, it's different. Oh, I like that, though. Yeah. I don't know that I'd do another one like this. Um, but... Um, I think this would look better if I had just done uh, a single plank. Mm -hmm. Like that. Maybe I'll do that on one of the others. It's like sometimes with these things, they, um, they like, will, will, you know, remake pallets out of old pallets. So, like, half of this one's okay. Yeah. You know? But the rest of it's rotten. I need um I need like a gray one. Ah, uh, that's melon oil. Just go light with it. Hmm. Melon oil, I think, is maybe too dark, man. I don't know. I mean, okay, so it's come like, with me on this journey, oh. right? Take a look at what I did with the straight jackets. That's null and oil. I'm gonna try one. I'm gonna try one. Okay, let's that. We're, we're gonna we're gonna be a little bit more watchy with this one. Yeah, why not? Yeah. These take about 10 minutes each to make, also. Right. So, like. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. And, like, talk about universal applicability. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. you can use those in fantasy, you can use them in sci fi, you can use them in superheroes, modern. Right, yeah. I'm. Modern is the hardest thing to find anything for. Mm hmm. Um, I have I would completely um, agree with you. Boy, that looks that looks great. Look at those. They're so good. I'm beyond happy with them. Um, but yeah, like you can use these in a warehouse. You can use them at a dock. You can use them behind a convenience store. You can use it like. You find these things everywhere, mm -hmm. so like, they're they're super great. They are, and like the other thing that's nice is, you can um. I want to make a bunch of them so that I can glue some together. Yep. But like you stack them like this to be like, oh, that's a that's a blocking terrain, you know. Yeah. Or you can be like, oh, you could you could throw that one. That that one's a square block in the terrain. That one's throwable, you know. Yeah. Cool stuff. Like, yeah, these look great. That's, all three of those washers actually turned out really nice. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, let's see if we are. Over for her room because she's a robot. Yeah, that makes sense. She's just actually, she's actually like I would, I would normally with purple, but there's so much purple in this. Yeah.
is also a thing that I do that I don't really recommend people to do. <laughs> The, the base rings? Yeah. See, I'm going to do that with Crisis Protocol. I think that makes sense. I like the colors. Yeah. Like, it, it makes them pop, you know? Mm-hmm. But, like... I'm not going to do it for Batman. No, for Batman, I'm keeping them all black. Um, I did it for Turtles, except for, um... Like, Foot Soldiers, stuff like that. I just came black. Right, well, yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. I follow that. Minion things. Mousers and whatnot. Hellboy just painted black. Yeah. I'm hitting these guys' pants with just a little bit of bright green to sort of dull out some of the brighter spots that the contrast paint didn't really do what I wanted it to. I don't love it because I don't have turquoise. Normally I'd use a turquoise for this, but... See, that, that's the one thing that I like really prefer about the Reaper is that because they're in droppers, I, like, I'm used to mixing all the time. Yeah, and I, like, uh, this, this thing has mixing trays built into it, but... I'm lazy. <laughs> right, well, I mean, it's harder to pull the paint out of the yeah. Citadel pots. Yeah. And, I mean, could I just go to work tomorrow and get the colors that I'm missing? Yes. But we're here now. <laughs> right. Okay, yeah, I think this should be um, Yeah, I, these guys just need face work and I'm gonna do that off camera so I mean I'm I'm particularly happy with where Zaz is. Zaz is. Yeah, I mean I'm really happy with this one. I'm not I did not think going into tonight I would be this happy, so Yeah. I wish you could show a clear picture, but I'll get one in the Discord so Yeah. So uh I guess that brings us to the end. Thank you so much for hanging out, everybody. Uh, this is a great time. We're so, so excited to have Adam back. And uh, the gang will be all here next week, as far as we know. Uh, Broody will be back. I, I, uh, he has received his birthday gift. He has not opened it. He has promised us he will open it on stream. Um, so have a great night. I will be back on the Ryugami san channel tomorrow night, 9 p.m., Eastern Time for This Is Difficult Podcast, and I guess, oh yeah, I've got Tales from the Archive tomorrow too, on the Handle Arbor Games channel, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And then we'll be right back here playing Batman on Thursday night. Adam, this has been an absolute joy. Can't wait to have you back for more of these. Thank you so much for for uh, for hanging out, man. Yeah, you know, man, it's great to be back, so yeah. thanks, thanks for having me. Oh, no trouble at all. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.